securitycameraking.com. In this video, I will show you how to open the ports in the router to access the DVR remotely. First, you have to make sure that the DVR is plugged in into the same network as the PC that you will be doing this procedure. On my case, I will be using remote desktop. Click in here. And we need to find out what your IP schema is of your network. To do that, you can go to start, run, and type cmd and hit enter. Next, we're going to type the command ipconfig to find out what your IP schema is. On this case, is it belongs to the same network as my DVR. Normally, we ship the DVR with the IP 192.168.1.108. So it belongs to the same network as the network where I'm plugged in now. So make sure you memorize this number because this number is going to allow you to uh, get into your router. To do so, you can go to Internet Explorer and type in the IP of your gateway. In this case is 192.168.1.1. And this is the interface of my router. The router interface is going to change depending upon uh, who is your Ethernet service provider. So in my case, it's a Linksys that I configure myself and it has actually a different interface, but the procedures are the same. In this case, I already have uh, the ports open and I will show you briefly how to do it by going to the NAT. Normally you will have to go to the firewall options on your router to do that. You have to log in into your router. And here is the ports that you need to be opening on your router to access the DVR externally. Normally the DVR is shipped with the ports 37777, 37778, and port 80. Normally ISPs or Ethernet service provider will block port 80 for the HTTP port so you can change it to 88 or any other number than 80 and then you can open the ports and access your DVR successfully. In my case the only port that I changed was 99 for the HTTP so here are the ports that I open in this case the first port is 37777 the protocol is both if your router supports that if it doesn't you're gonna have to open this port twice but using the first protocol will be TCP and the next protocol will be UDP for the same port and so on and so forth in this case my router supports it so I would choose both the internal IP of the DVR and make sure you enable those rules on your router so the ports will be open when you try to access it from outside. In this case I already open all the ports. Hit save. Apply the settings. And I'm going to go back to the other computer to access the DVR remotely. In this case you have to find out which, which is your external IP. You can go to uh, canyouseeme.org or whatismyip.com or ipchicken.com. There's so many. In this case, I like to use canyouseeme.org and actually it has a test that you can do by putting the ports that you open on your DVR on your router. In this case, it's 37777. It's one of the ports and it succeeds. And basically, it means that the ports is open so you, you are able to access it. Make sure that the HTTP port it's open as well by putting the HTTP port number there. In my case, it's 99. And it's already successfully added. I hope this has been informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.